In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a mechanical card that reveals a spooky spider with eyes that blink or glow whenever you move a lever. To get started, you'll need the following tools and supplies. A reed switch, two circuit sticker LEDs, a disc magnet, conductive fabric tape, and a coin cell battery. Other helpful tools include scissors, three metal brads, foam tape, scotch tape, double-sided tape, cardstock, vellum, and a strip of acetate. I created the parts for this project in Cricut Design Space. If you have a Cricut smart cutting machine, you may find links to the free customizable project and the circuit diagram in the description below. To make this card, you'll need a card top, three paper washers, a card back to build your circuit upon, a pair of slotted doors, an art layer, in this case a spider, a piece of translucent vellum in a color of your choice, and a strip of acetate. I used Cricut's pen tool to draw my spider and webby parts. To add visual interest, I painted the top with gouache paint, which dries very quickly. If you decide to add textured embellishment to your top layer, such as collage material, avoid the slotted area near the top right side of your card, or it might interfere with the magnet we'll be using later. You'll be building the door mechanism on top of a piece of scored vellum. To add a little height and to better diffuse the light, I'm adding four squares of adhesive foam tape to the back side, leaving the protective backing on. For comparison, I've also prepped a piece of white vellum. It's a bit heavier than the red, so it doesn't wrinkle as easily, but most of the vellum will be hidden. The next step is to attach the acetate strip to the center of the vellum piece by placing a metal brad through it and securing it with a paper washer. Next, apply double-sided tape to the back side of the spider piece and center it between the embossed outline on the vellum. The tape should not impede the movement of the lever. Next, slide each of the diagonal doors onto the lever. Keep the T oriented upright so that the pattern on the doors aligns with the card top. As you did when adding the lever, insert metal brads through the holes in the doors, securing them on the back side with paper washers. Then test the lever to make sure that everything is moving smoothly. In an upcoming step, you'll be attaching the magnet to the back side of the lever. But first, we need to build the circuit. While you could use the markings on your card back to place each component in the correct place, I find it easier to print, cut, and tape, or glue, the template directly on top of the card back. To build the circuit, you'll need a reed switch, a coin cell battery, and a magnet. The one I'm using has an adhesive backing, but glue or double-sided tape can work in a pinch. You'll also need conductive fabric tape and two circuit sticker LEDs. I'm using two Blinking Gem animating LED stickers. The first step of building your circuit is to add double-sided tape over the round battery footprint and remove the protective backing. This tape will be doing double duty. It will be holding your battery in place and connecting the negative side of it to the negative lead of your circuit to help increase the physical and electrical connection. Next, add a piece of conductive fabric tape over the blue line on your template, overlapping the double-sided tape. I find it helpful to use the pad of my finger to remove the conductive tape from its backing.
Cut off the excess with a pair of scissors, then adhere the battery, positive side up, on top of the double-sided tape. Your battery will not fall out of place. To create the positive lead of your circuit, add pieces of conductive fabric tape over the red lines on your template, leaving a gap for the reed switch. Be sure to cover the entire red line. Try not to trim your tape too short or you'll end up needing a patch, like I did. Now you can add your LEDs. Like the classic circuit sticker LEDs, the pointy end of the blinking gem sticker is negative while the broader end is positive. Do your best to center the LED in its footprint on the circuit diagram so that it lines up with the holes in your spider piece. To test your circuit to make sure the LEDs are working, hold a piece of conductive fabric tape over the gap where the reed switch will be going. Make sure that it's touching both parts of the positive lead. If your circuit is working, your LEDs should be blinking or glowing. If your circuit is working properly, go ahead and reinforce the LEDs with patches of conductive fabric tape and test the circuit again. Now it's time to add the reed switch. If you take a close look at your reed switch, you might notice two recessed circles on one side. Usually this is the side that will be most sensitive to the magnet, so it should be placed facing up. Carefully bend the legs to make it easier to tape down. Here I'm holding the legs down upon the positive lead, placing a magnet on top to verify that the side facing up works as expected. Secure the legs of the reed switch with conductive fabric tape. If you trimmed your positive lead too short, you can add a patch to extend it, as I did. I'm using more than one piece for each leg to increase the physical and electrical connection. To keep the metal legs of the reed switch from pulling away from the conductive tape over time, it's a good idea to reinforce the conductive traces with a piece of scotch tape. Place the magnet on top of the reed switch to trigger the LEDs, then turn the lever to open the doors on your door mechanism. Carefully position it over the magnet, being careful to line up the LEDs with the spider's eyes.
Here you can see how white vellum creates a different effect. To get the magnet adhered in the proper location on the back side of the acetate lever, leave the protective backing on the back side of the door mechanism. But remove the protective backing from the magnet if you're using a self-adhesive one. If you're not, then apply the adhesive of your choice on top of your magnet. Then carefully position the door mechanism on top of the sticky magnet and press down. Test the magnetic lever to ensure that it works as expected, then remove the protective backing from the foam squares on the back side. Then carefully position the door mechanism in the outline on top of the circuit diagram and make sure that the holes for the spider eyes match up with the LEDs. To attach the front of the card with the circuit layer, you'll need to add foam tape around the edge of the card back, being careful not to impede the movement of the lever. I'm using Barely Art Craft Foam because it comes in squares and strips in two different thicknesses. I've used both sizes when making different versions of this card, but I'm opting for the eighth of an inch thick strips this time. Before you remove the protective backing from the foam tape, test the placement of the card front by slipping the magnetic lever through its slot. If you need to make any adjustments, now's the time to do it. Once you're happy with the way things are looking, you can go ahead and remove the protective backing and adhere the front of the card. If you don't like seeing the magnet through the lever, you can cover it up. You can also trim the length. I used a small spider and thread die from Lawn Fawn's cute cobweb set. But just be aware that adding a decorative element to your lever might impede its movement. It took me a bit of trial and error to find something that worked for me.